God, I am so mad. I just set my skin back. With all the progress I did with my skincare and the facial, I sleep with my makeup on. What? people and your girl is back and back with a fresh face as you've seen in that clip that's a big no-no for me that was like a setback in my skincare routine like I could have red bumps all over my face just for doing that so the routine that I have to do to remove makeup which I should have did before bed but that's besides the point we already here so I love to go in with my Garnier Miss Yellier rose water to just remove all of that makeup from my face and I go ahead and use my cotton rounds as you see in that clip and just remove all of that makeup from my face and then I'll go ahead in with my cocoa butter formula it's like a cleansing oil to just remove all that excess makeup off your face so it has an oil in there so if your face is feeling dry when you are removing makeup it doesn't just harshly remove the makeup like some makeup wipes so that's why i like to use those two products to remove makeup and then i follow up with my skincare routines from that neutrogenia exfol exfoliating product and then my do drops from glow recipe and that's where you get this face <laughs> But yeah, so your girl is washed, teeth is fresh, breath is fresh, and I'm about to get started with my routine. So this vlog is basically um, Mother's Day vlog, but this is the start of the video to get started. So what I'm gonna be, what's on the agenda today, guys? So I'm gonna get started with doing my yoga. Yes, I started doing yoga because it just makes me feel zen. It makes me feel calm, especially with this birth control in my arm. The next applying it just kind of makes my emotions all over the place. So just to keep my emotions in line, I did start it to do yoga and it just relaxes me. So I like to get started with my day. It's currently 8.23, so I'm gonna start doing that. And then afterwards, um, eat some oatmeal, bagels, and then our appointment for nails. Yeah, so James is taking me to get my nails done and that's around 12 p.m.-ish, we getting pedicures and then I need to get this done. This is a knee. Y'all see this? It needs to be cut down. It needs a fill-in. It got to go. I'm tired of looking at this. <laughs> so that's at 12 p.m. And then we'll probably get something to eat. So mostly today is more like a chill day. And then tomorrow is Sunday. That's Mother's Day. But you're not going to see this vlog until Wednesday. But that's Mother's Day. And he's taking me um to this place called Pasha. And you'll see that tomorrow. I've never been before, but I've seen it on TikTok. So... That's tomorrow, so that's on the agenda for this weekend. And I just wanted to do this video just to start to show you how I start my day. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to make Zuri some cream of wheat. This is the stuff that she likes. She don't like eating nothing else. So I have to make her some cream of wheat. And then what I'm gonna do for my breakfast, I'm gonna pop in a bagel and probably some bacon mix. I know James likes ba turkey bacon, but I like my maple bacon, so. I'm gonna do that to get started with our breakfast because you know we gotta eat before we start our day. And our appointment appointment is at 12. It's currently 1041. So yeah, we gotta be on the ball. <laughs> I actually tried to change um, the appointment time, but the next appointment time is at until 4:30, and we have other errands to do today. So I'm like, let's just stick to that. Good morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's your outfit for the day? I'm a pretty princess. You're a pretty princess? Yeah. Let's see. Yay, yeah, so cute.
James. Oh. Is it so hard? Yeah, it's hard. It's not too bad now. This what happens when you're not used to chat. I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just got out of the nail appointment. Me and James got our pedicures done and I got my nail, oh you can't see it. I got my nails done. You like my nails? Yeah, it's cute. Mm. Okay, so this lady who was doing my pedicure, I had to switch her out because I like for someone to do a gentle pedicure, just someone who's soft and is taking their time. So she grabbed my feet out of the pedicure tub or whatever it's called bucket and then she just started like taking my gel polish off all rough and i was like you're being rough me i'm gonna speak up i started speaking up especially with services because if i'm paying for it if you you if you get your nails done often like two weeks every month or so you are gonna speak up so she started being all rough so um i was like can you um can you stop being rough and then so i guess she didn't understand what i was saying so the person i was doing my nails she um spoken Vietnamese to her and said it and but then she was still being rough so I was like can you switch her out at this point so the person that they were uh, told she did a good job she was very gentle so James you gonna turn right on Oak Grove yeah so James how do you feel about the person that did your pedicure James is passive so he's not gonna really say too much as long as the person does it but how do you feel i mean she could have done a better job uh my feet still look rough <laughs> his feet doesn't look rough but the only thing i will say is when you're done doing the pedicure you do the lotions and stuff every time you're supposed to put the oil critical oil on the nails and it was just like she didn't put anything it was just left rough so uh when the person does a good job so i was giving a tip to the person that did my nails helen shout out to her and the lady who did my pedicure so we was giving out tips and then the lady who did james pedicure was like thank you like she was just really trying to look to get her tip and i was like mm. but you know james he kind of felt bad and it was kind of awkward because i gave the lady who did my nails everybody tip and stuff her so James was like, just go ahead and give her a little tip or whatever. I mean, she was nice, but I just feel like you need to do a better job if you want to tip. That's just my opinion. But what you think? Yeah, she should have. But I mean, it wasn't bad. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. I just thought that she could have, like, especially on Did my, a better on my job. Heel, she could have done more. I mean, but I don't think your feel, feet looks bad, though. Well, my heels still feel a little rough. She could have won. <laughs> the last place I went to, they did a good job. Yeah. So. So my last video got cut short of us talking about the nail salon because, one, my phone died. And then when I tried to re-record, it said phone storage full. So not only is my phone storage just full, my Mac is full, too, with storage. So... Uh, what we end up doing is just um, running some errands. We went to TJ Maxx. Um, we went to uh, Target. I went to Target to get a hard drive for my computer because I do not have time for uh, storage full. I'm dropping these videos out for y'all. So I don't got time for that. <laughs> I need this to drop when it's supposed to drop because last week when I tried, well, it was this week when I tried to upload on Wednesday. I couldn't because it was like storage full. It was just giving me a hard time. Then it took like almost two hours to save from iMovie to uh, upload because I have to save it first. Then once it's saved, I can upload it to YouTube. So yeah. So right now, um, James is um, James is in, is in Ross right now. We're just trying to find her shoes because her feet grows crazy, y'all. And for me, well, this is a, this is the type of parents we are. We rather spend money on on shoes, but not expensive shoes because her feet just grow so much. So we just rather kind of probably like twenty dollars at the most. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, I got my shake. But yeah. So we're just doing a little errands today, and that's mostly what we're doing for now. And then um, tomorrow's Mother's Day, and then it's all about me. I mean, today was all about me, but then tomorrow is definitely all about me. 
Right, Zuri? Yeah. It's all about mommy, right? No, mine is French fries. What? It's always something about French fries. Yeah. Me and I'm you know, going to McDonald's and she got fries and I got a smoothie or whatever. But yeah, so um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, beautiful people. So it is the next day. Your girl is up early because today is Mother's Day and your girl got to get started with her day. Well, really, I've already been up early because I was editing my video, just making sure that it can be posted for today. But today is Sunday, but you're not going to see this vlog until Wednesday. But that's beside the point. So your girl's already been up. I've ate already, took a shower. Your girl has a fresh face going on. So now it's time to get ready with me. <laughs> so I'm not really gonna show you my full makeup routine because I'm no expert, I'm no pro, but you'll see little clips of me kind of doing it. I'll show little clips, but ain't no expert of you. <laughs> and then I'll show you guys my outfit that I wanna wear. I'm kind of picking and choosing between two, but I do like this one particular outfit that I wanna wear and I'll show you guys that. So for now, I'm gonna, right now, I'm about to redo this just to kind of like um, make it look a little bit more fresh. It looks a little bit out of place. I'm just gonna redo it. I decided to keep my hair like this. I was gonna take it out and put my clippings in because I love that full curly look, but my friend and my boyfriend was like, just keep it, it looks cute. So I'm about to keep this in and yeah. And make sure you go watch that video of that mommy and me hairstyle. You, did you watch? <laughs> All right, let's get ready, y'all. Y'all, I thought I had time all planned out. Like I told you, I was up since seven, but I was like editing my video and stuff. Like I just wanted to show you like my whole outfit. And peep, me and Jameson is matching. He he just wanted to be like me. What? He I told him that I was wearing green. I already had this outfit planned. I did too. So he didn't love me that much that he wanted to take it for one and a half months. It is okay. I was supposed to show you inside when I when I was home, but I'll do that too. Okay guys, so I am just getting home and I had a really good Mother's Day. And let me tell you, I am 
super exhausted. Exhausted when I tell you. Like, I've been up since 2 in the morning, then went to sleep, woke back up like close to 7 in the morning. So, I've been up basically all day. So, I'm pretty tired. I didn't really get that much of sleep. But I did want to show you my flowers that my man got me. These are so beautiful. He got me this for Mother's Day. Say happy Mother's Day. <laughs> so I had a really good Mother's Day, y'all. The restaurant that we did go to, it was called Pasha Lounge. We went there for a Mother's Day brunch. Um, as you've seen in the clip, we had waffles, chicken and waffles. And then I had the um, uh, mimosas. Mimosas is my favorite. <laughs> So I didn't really get to show you too much of my outfit because like I said, I was like rushing and stuff like that. But um, then after Pasha, we went to um, Atlantic Station to take pictures of moi. And um, we had so many compliments on our outfits because you know, me and James were kind of coordinating a little bit. So yeah, I had a really good Mother's Day. James made my day feel so special. Zuri, you love me? <laughs> so yes i had a really good mother's day y'all um but if you um like i said if you do want more vlogs from me i just put out this other vlog week especially for mother's day um but if you do want more vlogs from me guys make sure you leave me a comment below and i'll give you more vlogs thank you guys for watching don't forget to what like comment and share this video and subscribe to your girl's channel bye